Hello everybody and welcome to my second video describing how to construct a flue pipe. This here is one of the pipes for my Christmas organ which just yesterday turned nine months old. Now the organ is still operational which is an achievement for what I considered a rapidly built prototype with valve hinges made out of paper and springs made out of rubber bands. Already I'm beginning to formulate plans for a better organ, including one with an AGO concave radiating pedal board so that I can get some practice in. But on to the main point of this video. Um, before you go any further, I would advise you to watch my other flue pipe video for an introduction to the concept of the flue pipe and its physics, as well as one possible construction made fully of cardboard suitable for small pipes. Now, this current video should help further clarify the concept as well as to demonstrate another larger scale construction using PVC pipes, creating a finished product that looks like this. Now, recall from the other video the operating principle of a flue pipe, um, that there is a sheet of air impinging directly on a sharp edge that forms part of the wall of a resonating chamber. Um, this sheet of air is alter uh, alternately deflected in and out of the chamber sustaining the standing wave vibrations within the chamber and creating sound. So part one then is to create the foot which is responsible for producing the sheet of air. Now my particular design mirrors the way that metal pipes are created. It so happens that this and other parts of the assembly are described in greater detail on my website. But so step one is um, to cut a circular sector from cereal box cardboard according to a pattern like this and subsequently to assemble it into a cone. Now next using sharp scissors you need to score the shape of a parabola out of the outer circumference here which is now forming the upper surface. Score it and depress it to form a flat region Next, very carefully and evenly, paste a corresponding parabola over the top to help hold the shape of this flat depressed, um, flat depressed region. Finally, carefully hot glue a, a square of cardboard over the end of the cone, leaving a small slit for the flue. Uh, see the other video for an important note on the direction of air leaving the flue. Now the end product of, the, of this assembly looks like this. Okay? This sample has score lines on the surface, which was an early concept I tried out, but that didn't work well and didn't look very good either. I didn't take great care of this foot because it was just a prototype, so it's a little banged up. But nevertheless, if I turn it this way, you can see the flu. And I think you can see a tiny bit of light glinting down the length of the foot. Now part two of the flue pipe is the flue body or the resonating chamber. For this I went through two designs. Uh, the first one I detailed on the website and it looked like this. Okay, um, It involved creating a tube and then vertically scoring the tube to create the flat region of the upper lip. Now this, is, this assembly would then need to be inserted into the PVC pipe so that together they would form the resonating chamber. Now this worked. It worked fine from a functional standpoint, but it didn't look very good to have the PVC pipe standing on this and then this in turn standing on standing on the foot assembly. So the next solution was to cut them out directly from the PVC pipe. So using a common wood saw I just cut into the end of a pipe at an angle, producing a parabola, which I then which I then capped with cardboard to create the upper lip. Obviously, this here was just an early prototype using a larger diameter, three inches of PVC pipe, but this should ex this should adequately illustrate the basic idea of what went on. So to create the final assembly then, all that, all that you need to do is to hot glue the two assemblies together, of course mismatched size here, 
and um, after adjusting them for correct airflow, such that the sheet of air that comes out from the flue hits precisely this edge of the upper lip here. And you get your PVC flue pipe. So let's take another look at the finished assembly. Now I mentioned the icing equation in my earlier video, which mathematically relates various parameters of flue pipe design. What we can see here is that what speaks for a given length of pipe may not speak if certain parameters are changed. So that's it. See you next time, and happy building.